<sighs> yeah, I'll take your word for it. A coffee? Go on, then, please. So, uh, what time did you get in last night, then? Late. Went out for a drink with Mum and Paul. Tell you what, for a little lad, can't I put it away? Mm. So you two getting on all right, then? Yeah. He's OK, I suppose. Makes me mum happy, that's something. It's a lot, believe me. There you go. So what did you get up to last night? A quiet night in, was it? Uh, no, not exactly. All right. I don't believe it. What, you... you two? Yeah. You are all right with it, aren't you? Yeah, Eve. Just can't believe you finally got it on. It's starting to give up on you. Yeah, well, the guy can only say no so many times. Yeah. Funny, because you definitely won't see that last night. Mm. Oh, spare me the gory details. I've not even had my breakfast yet. Mm. What's that? No, seriously, though, I'm, uh, well, I'm made up for you. A pair of you. Just make sure you treat her right. Yeah, don't worry. That's good. <laughs> I wondered when you'd come crawling back with your tail between your legs. Is your mum in? No. Where is she? Where do you think she is? She's out trying to sort the mess you've made of everything. She won't be back any time soon. All right, come on, let's get it over with. Give us both battles. It's what I deserve. Oh, no. You deserve much more than that. Oh, and by the way, you owe me 265 quid for getting the bailiffs off your back. Tomorrow will be fine. Cash, no checks. I suppose you think I'm a right scumbag at all, don't you? Nothing to do with me. I just work here. Okay, it's poor as a pine, will you, love? Ty, come on, mate. Look what we've got the Rovers. All right, keep your wig on. It's only just gone beer o'clock. Yeah, well, it's not the beer that I'm interested in, is it? Wow, you are in love, eh? And there's not even a mirror about, <laughs> hey? That was pretty good for you, mate. Right? Oh, hang on. Where's my grandma? Let's take this. All right. Hi, Grandma. You okay? <sighs> Not sure. What did Dorian want? Was it about the funeral? Not exactly, no. What was it about then? She, uh. <laughs> she wanted to tell me that my grand had left me some money in his will. How much? Twelve grand. What? It's mad, isn't it? I don't know whether to laugh or cry or. Huh? How do you mean? First time in my life from Lodis. I finally got the girl of my dreams, but I lost the only real dad I've ever had. Come on. You know what you should do? You should splash a bit of cash, treat yourself. Or you and Tina do something nice together. Sort of like in memory of Jeff. Yeah. That's yeah, a good idea, though. Cheers, big man. <laughs> Stella? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Um, did you want something? Brewer's on the phone, but I'll get him to call back. Yeah, all right. A bit quiet in here today. I'd be glad of it if I were you, because I can't see it lasting. What do you mean? Carl and Stella have been rowing again about his gambling. I went in earlier and um, she tried to hide it, but you could tell she was really upset. Can't be easy for him either. Oh, well, it is his fault, though. It's not that simple, though. It's much more complicated. How do you know? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Well, Carl's told me a little bit about his, um, what's been happening. Oh, really? So how long have you and Carl been having these little chats about what's been going on in his life and my life? It's not like that. So what is it like, then? Because I am dying to know. Um, can we talk about it somewhere a bit more private? After you. Hey. Can I get these, please? Yeah. Whoa! What, all of them? Yeah. Oh, what are you grinning at? Well, either you're a tall sleazebag with about four women on the go, or you're so in the doghouse. Well, that's where you're wrong, cos I'm not a sleazebag, and these aren't an apology. Oh, yeah, I'm either, then. Do a declaration. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sexy. All right, stalker boy. How do you know I was around here? Oh, uh, Sunita told me you are working out back. Uh, yeah, keeping out the way, more like. Why? What's up? Let's just say he's not exactly happy shit right now. Well, I've got some of the match here. Hmm? Close your eyes. <laughs> no, oh, no, just... I am not falling <laughs> just for that. Close oh, your no, eyes. Right. Okay, stay Go on. there. Go on. Don't open them. Go on. You ready? Yeah. Right, hang on. <laughs> Go. No. Open your eyes. 
Did you rob these? No, I didn't, thank you. I bought them. Yeah, well, they must have cost a fortune. Yeah, well, there's only money in. Yeah, and your skin. Yeah, well, don't you worry about that. Just, um, come back to the flat once you've finished it here and, uh, I've got another surprise for you. Right, what are you up to, Doctor? Come back to the flat and you find out, OK? OK. <laughs> thank you. Hey, check this out, mate. I've got all four Die Hard films, a fridge full of beer, and a microwave curry on standby. Happy Easter, Jason. All right, well, that sounds great, but um, I was hoping you could do me a favour. What? Go out. Come again? Look, I was going to make a romantic meal for Tina, you know, surprise her, and I thought you might be able to give us a bit of space. Yeah, but I'm all set up here now. Oh, come on, mate, it's only this once, I promise. And it's Bruce Willis. All right, I'll give you 20 quid then. But I don't want your money. Right, well, I'll, I don't know, clean the flat for a week. Tommy, we don't clean up every week. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, a month then, two months. Well, and that's washing up and everything. Yeah, all right. All right, go on then. Yeah, cheers, Jerry. You're a top lad. No, I'm a mug, is what I am. You should have a handle on me. <laughs> like that? No, like that. Stop it. Ow! Welcome to Weatherfield International Airport. Well, that explains why I found this in the front door. May I take these for you, madam? <laughs> May. Thank you. <sighs> now, you've already been checked in, so if you'd like to take your seat for takeoff. What's going on? I think you mean where are we going? OK. Where are we going? Well, I'll take your pick. We've got uh, Australia, <laughs> India, Indonesia, <laughs> Thailand. And that is just for starters. Wow. Uh, you've made a lot of effort. What's the occasion? Oh, no occasion. I just... I just reckon it'd be nice to give you a taste of a real thing. Real thing? I'm not sure I follow. Right. <laughs> My grandma rang me today. Mm -hmm. And, um... <laughs> apparently, my granddad left me £12,000 in his will. Oh... My... <laughs> God. Come around the world with me, Tina. Let's me and you just... Go on a round the world trip for real. So you come. Just think, this time next week, we could be chilling in Thailand. Talk about epic, eh? Oh, we could go to the, uh, the full moon party at Harvin Beach. Then, watch the sunrise at Tong Lai Pan. Now you got it all planned out, haven't you? It's second. So I don't get a say in this now? Yeah, a bit the hotels. That, that's not what I meant. Look, I, I love the fact that you've done all this. And the places you're talking about sound brilliant. But... <laughs> but I can't let you blow your inheritance. Tina, this is my money. Yeah, and Jeff would have wanted it to change your life. <laughs> this has changed both of our lives. But my life's already changed. Thanks to you, I am happy for the first time in ages. So you're saying no? I'm saying one day. Now eat up. The in-flight movie's gonna start soon. I'm just...